I'm Lauren Elizabeth, and this is MTV's Cribs on a Quarter, a DIY makeover show for people with a whole lot of taste but not a lot of cash. Oh my god, it's like a bathroom and a living room. I'm gonna turn this blank white space into a room of your dreams for under $250. Oh my god, my room! Let's go see how it's done. Okay guys, we're outside Nikki's apartment and she only moved here like three months ago from Miami. But she works in fashion, so I think she's gonna have some good style and we're just gonna make this place feel more at home for her. Let's see what we're working with. Hi. Let's do this, girl. Let's do this. So much space, but where's yours? It's right back here and there's not so much Oh space. my gosh. <laughs> It's a struggle, and I'm in dire need of your help. Let me guess, you bought the bed before you moved in? Yes, because... People do that with couches and beds all the time, and I yell at them every time. I, mean, I just can't believe you got it in. So... I do love pink, so I will say we're on the right track. I actually hate pink. Then why is it so pink in here? I think it just works with the gray, so okay. I, I was more going for the feel of the room. Your it's... thought process is so out of whack right now. Are you getting ready in here as well? I am, so to prepare for a day. Oh God. <laughs> this is my little get up. Oh, <laughs> do you stand ready. while you get ready? I, I kind of like squat. Wow. <laughs> so it's a workout thing. and getting ready at the it's same time. Where did you get the cabinets? Those things? Yeah. I got those on the internet. I thought I needed a pop of color. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I just love how like you actually put like the weirdest train of thought into like, all these decisions. I work 40 hours a week, so when I come home, I want this to be like my comfort yeah. zone. I want to have it like feel like home. So I feel like we have a lot to work with. Right now it's really bare on the bed. Like you have this gorgeous bed, and I want you to be able to like lay in this bed and be able to like finally like, like something out of a magazine. <sighs> So I feel like we need art, an accent wall, and wherever I am, I need greenery because it really brings life, literally, to the place. So I think by adding all those things, it'll it make, make it really it... cozy and fresh at the same time. Do you Reality. trust me? I trust you, girl. Do you with trust my whole me heart. enough to start moving all your crap oh around? My oh my god, it's like a bathroom and a living room. <laughs> I know, I tried, okay? Oh. Of course, I'm like matching the one thing I'm making fun of. Okay, Nikki, I'm gonna put you to a little bit of work. Okay. And we're gonna be doing a DIY. We're gonna do hanging macrame planters. Ooh. So it's not gonna take up anything but airspace. You know, Ooh. it's gonna look cute in your room. I can't wait. And since we're on a $250 budget, this is like a quarter of the price of the ones I see in all the no cutest way. magazines and shops. So you're gonna need some rope. A votive, this is like a $1 candle votive that we're actually gonna turn into a little planter with some help from our succulents that we're gonna repurpose. Okay. Some beads, a plastic ring. I pre-measured based on the height and where we want it in your room. Okay. Then you just need a friend, so are you gonna help me out? I'm gonna help you out. I'm so excited, let's get right to it. So like I said, this is pre-measured. Okay. We're gonna cut four total. Step number two, boop. Split in half, baby. So this is where we put the ring in and then she's gonna help me tie a knot so everything hangs perfectly at the same distance. We're gonna measure on the votive how far we want it to hang. So we're gonna knot it about here so that it hangs and holds there. Who needs like a tape measure, right? When you have eyes like us. The knots look perfection. We could start a macrame business at this point. We're gonna make it look even cuter with the beads. You like the beads? I love those. Perfect. Woo! It's like getting into skinny jeans. Just like make it work. Oh, wow! <laughs> I'm gonna measure the planter again because this is where it's going to be secured like a little baby in a cradle. But instead of tying these two together, you're gonna take its neighbor. See how it's gonna do a little like oh. situation? You gotta water these. These oh. are living. Oh my god. This is one stubborn bean. Be bean. <laughs> Thinking about food. Okay, so how do we get it up? I don't know. <laughs> Once you replace your succulents, you wanna make sure you press the dirt down securely around it so it does stay in place. Wow, that looks really good. Like that. Let's clean up this disaster and okay. make it look pretty in the macrame. Whoa! 
This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Let's see what it looks like inside, shall we? Okay. I want you to put it in. Boom. What? That is look the it. cutest thing I've ever seen. Do you love seen. it? I love this. Are you joking me? This is the first piece <laughs> of your new room. I love it. The rest is going Hi. to be a surprise. I want you to get out of here. No. And I want you to come back. Trust me, the next time you come back to your room, you're never going to want to leave, OK? okay fine. I trust you. Oh, you better. <laughs> The wall for Nikki's room is looking amazing. It's a shiplap wall, and the most amazing part about this is it's very forgiving. You want to actually leave space in between the plywood. If anything's off, you just fill it in with some spackle. Buying plywood isn't too expensive, and when you get it at the hardware store, you just have them cut it for free while you're there, and you don't have to do it yourself either. Woo! Okay guys, my work here is done. I'm ready to move in. Just kidding, it's Nikki's room and I'm gonna go get her. Here we go, Nikki. I'm gonna bring you in. Open your eyes. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Open your eyes. Oh my God. Oh my God, my room. Are these tears of sadness or joy? Oh my God. <laughs> We've created you a vanity. All it is is literally your yellow dressers from before. I put just a laminate slab on top. You can get ready right here. I'm literally speechless. It's a shiplap wall. It's actual wood that I put on your wall. We did some shelves, some old Hollywood oh prints. I got you a little housewarming gift tied into the pink. It's so of soft course, from my so home furry. collection. Oh, look at our little DIY. It's our DIY. It's Don't so forget to cute. water it, though. Oh, God, yes. I have to keep that away. You know, there's so much room, so whatever you need, the world is your oyster at it's this so point. so cute. I love it. This is so beautiful. Kept your bed. We pushed it up this way. It's going to be so cozy for you to just, like, lay in bed and have this little nook in the back okay. and have all this room everywhere. You're going to get, like, so much rest. Get your level up on. You know. You know. This is beyond what any, like, anything I had imagined. This is so cute. Like, does it I feel like so a different space. room? It does. Like, I have so much space right now. I can't even. You, like, do don't it. know like, what to do I with the just... rest of the space. You're, You're still going to, like, curl up in a ball. Exactly. <laughs> Your bed finally has a home. I know, yes. Okay, well, I feel like you're not getting up once you sit down, so I'm just gonna I leave you it. in here. Yes, I'll be gone. Okay, I'll this is where I leave. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cribs on a Quarter. I hope you liked it so much that you already gave it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for the next episode coming so soon. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.